morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. Today I would like to share with you 10 reasons why I homestead. I'm also going to make this a challenge to other homesteaders. So if you have a YouTube channel or a Facebook page, please join us along and participate. At the end of this video, I'm going to call out several specific homesteaders that I would like to challenge to do this video as well. The absolute top reason number one why I homestead or why we homestead it's these two right here as well as my older two we do it for the kids y'all these children deserve so much better better in every way better lifestyle better food better nutrition better education they are getting what I consider to be the best possible upbringing reason number two for homesteading because I get to have goats I love my goats my goats bring me so much happiness and a major bonus I get milk lots of milk and they bring me happiness who could beat that they're so perfect for the homestead. They help us clear land that needs to be cleared so that we don't have to have a bush hog come through. And we get to drink their milk and they get to be wonderful pets that we love dearly and companions and I mean the whole nine yards. Reason number three. I like homesteading or one of my reasons is because I'm able to hatch my own chicks. I wouldn't be able to do that if I worked full time. There was just so much joy that comes in breeding your own chickens and hatching those eggs and seeing what results you get. And I'm super excited about the results that we've got in this hatch and I can't wait to see what they grow into. Reason number four for homesteading. I get to grow my own food. Not only is that a benefit to my family for cost, but we also avoid all the pesticides in store-bought food and conventional farming, but also variety. Do you know that in order to get organic asparagus in the grocery store, it is $4.99 a bunch. Not only that, but I prefer local food. You literally cannot find a single farmer in my area that sells organic asparagus. So after planting 300 asparagus crowns, I now have the corner on the market. Also, my family gets to eat a ton of asparagus. Reason number five, kind of related to reason number four, is my reason for homesteading is I get to garden. I love gardening. I have spent eight years consecutively in horticulture and I never, got paid enough. My salary was low at both of the jobs I had and I always felt like I was missing out on enjoying what I was doing because I kept thinking that it wasn't getting the reimbursement for my time and energy and efforts. But gardening for myself, I get all of the rewards. Not only do I get to get my hands dirty and enjoy the soil and enjoy the sun, like I did in my job as well, but my payment is I get to take home all of this fresh produce and feed it to my family, not feeding it to somebody else. So we get the full benefit when we homestead for ourselves. Reason number six. I get to collect fresh eggs every day from my from my chickens and it brings me not only ex extreme happiness to have these fresh eggs every day but a nice full belly and a healthy nutritious diet reason number seven being a homesteader meant that i was at home when the tree company was coming through to trim all the power lines meaning I could stop and say, hey, do you need anywhere to dump that mulch? 
I would gladly have it. We got a second truckload of mulch because I was home and the guy knocked on the door this morning and gave us another truckload of free mulch for our garden. That couldn't be any better feeling than to get something like this for free. Reason number eight why I homestead is I get to watch adorable ducklings like this and other baby animals. And I get to watch them grow up into this. And because they have been grown up with our family, they have the same love and affection that we would like them to have with our family. Watching animals grow up is a, a magical, wonderful thing for the homestead. Reason number nine why I homestead. Because I can make something like this that my chickens give me and I can go like this with it. And then my friends give me some of this. That's right, I can sell my extra eggs. And with that money that I sell my extra eggs, I can get things that I wouldn't have normally been able to get. So for instance, this week, all of my egg and milk money is going towards getting my daughter her nails done for the prom, which is a huge good feeling in my heart because getting nails done is not something that we tend to spend money on around here. We focus our small income on things that we really need, but this is something she really wants. And more than anything in the world, I want to do things to make my children happy and provide for them with not just what they need, but with what they want. And these extra eggs provide us with the ability to do that. Reason number 10, last but not least, the reason why I choose to homestead. This one is kind of all encompassing of all the other ones, pretty much, for the most part. <laughs> it is the fact that I homestead for my health. All of the milk, the eggs, the meat even sometimes that we harvest from our property, all of the vegetables and produce that we preserve and can and dehydrate, all of these things are so much better than what I can get in a grocery store. They're higher nutrition, they're less pesticides, and they're fresher, so much fresher. And for me, that is a huge thing alone. But even better is the fact that it doesn't cost us as much as if we were to grocery shop for all of these items. We're able to produce our own food on our own land and save ourselves enough money that it makes more sense for me to stay home and raise all of these animals and gardens and children than it would make for me to go and work and put the kids in daycare and all of that. Now, by all means, there's nothing wrong with that. If that is what's working for your family and you're able to, um, to provide for your family through a, a great job, that's wonderful. Unfortunately, um, here in Georgia, the horticulture positions don't pay anything. Um, horticulture has, has very few opportunities to make any money. Um, and that, that, that became heart wrenching to me because this is my passion and I want to follow my passion. I want to be in horticulture and farming with the animals too, not just plants. And for me to be able to do that, I had to stay home. But as we added more animals, even though the feed cost went up, our feed cost went down. Our vegetables became enough food for us. Our eggs became enough eggs. Our milk became replaced completely from store-bought milk to our own milk. And it's so much better than any of the store-bought. And the lifestyle, it's, it's so healthy to be outdoors and doing things with your animals in your garden and with your children. And to homeschool them it's just such it's it's a dream i've always had i wanted to homeschool my older two um and i kind of let life get in the way of that and decided that no i needed to seek a career and put the kids in daycare and put the kids into school systems and and it worked 
I have two beautiful, wonderful children. It did not harm them. So I'm not dogging regular school, but it wasn't what I wanted. So what I wanted was to homeschool, and now I'm getting that opportunity. And I'm getting to grow my own food in many different forms and fashions, and I just feel so much better. So it hasn't only helped my health for nutrition and my body, but it's helped my mental health so much, so much. I had a huge weight lifted off of my chest when I quit working. Even though I had the huge financial burden of not getting a paycheck, my mental health improved immediately just from knowing I didn't have to get up in the morning and get on somebody else's time schedule to do somebody else's tasks, to do somebody else's wants and needs. I could do my own and I could focus my own priorities and I could make my own decisions about my life. So homesteading has freed me. It's truly freed me. And I am so glad that I made this choice. You do not have to homestead full time like this. You can do something as simple as a tomato plant on your patio of your apartment and then bringing those tomatoes in and canning them. And if you don't have a patio, go to the farmer's market and buy you some tomatoes and come home and can them. There is no homesteading task that's too small to be considered not homesteading. You can be a homesteader on the smallest, tiniest level. It's just a matter of making your own things, doing your own way, and providing for your family the best that you can. So I encourage each and every one of you to strike out, do something, whether it's just making your own kombucha instead of buying it, or growing your own vegetables, or if you have the ability to have chickens, or goats, or pigs, or cows, or any of those things that are gonna help provide food for your family, go for it. Don't wait. Don't put it off for tomorrow. I put it off for so long. We were doing small homesteading stuff while I worked full time. We um, had a garden. We had chickens and all that. But And we did canning and stuff like that. But it was it was intense. It was hard to try to work 40 hours a week and then come home and put in so much work at the gardens and such. So no matter where you are in your homesteading journey, you're already there. You're already a homesteader. It doesn't matter how small of a difference you're able to do with your time allotment and your skill level. Just start doing it. And start doing it now. Don't wait. And set goals. Say, by next year, we're going to have chickens. By next year, I'm going to have another garden bed. Whatever it is that you can add in, little at a time. I didn't get here overnight, y'all. We have been homesteading for seven years. Me and Ryan have been homesteading for seven years. And it, it wasn't until the last two years that we got to this property where we were able to expand into goats and everything that we were able to really commit and really get into a full-time homesteading gig and we love it we would not give that up for anything not a single thing so i hope that what you guys see in my videos and what you've seen in this video will inspire you to homestead and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please subscribe and go back through some of my older videos. There's a lot of stuff at the beginning of my YouTube journey that I covered and talked about and explained that a lot of you haven't been able to see because you're new subscribers. And so you're only getting notifications for new videos. Go back through my playlist, check them out and see what we've done just in the past year, not even a year since I've been home, uh, since I've been YouTubing. So check it out and see even just in the last few months the changes that we've been able to make. It's amazing what a little bit of effort and a little bit of time can do for your life and your homestead. Okay, now to the challenge part. I'm gonna challenge five other homesteaders YouTube channels to do this video as well. I hope that you all participate but I understand that not all of us have time to participate. So if you want to participate please do and nominate five other people at the end of your video so here are my nominations i've got willow creek homestead hallelujah homestead sullivan family homestead art and brie and art and homesteading 
So those are my five that I'm challenging to do this video because I think you all would do a really great video and you would have a lot of good points that you're going to make about why you choose to homestead. So we'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.